This is a quick tutorial how to uh, make a map in Google Maps and then move it over to your Garmin GPS so you can uh, use that on their routes and whatnot. First thing you need to do is get the directions. So we say get directions and I'm going to say Nashville, Tennessee to let's say Chattanooga, Tennessee. And I get directions. I found a bug actually. Um, because uh, let's see, let's get the directions and then you change some of the options as to the ways you want to take. So we'll move that and go that way, yada yada. Now if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see that it says save to my maps. If you under show options tell it to avoid highways and then get the directions, it will not allow you to save your map. So you need to make sure that is unchecked. Get directions. Now if you go through this way you can edit it as much as you want to to your heart's content and it will still do it. So make sure these are not checked. After you've edited your map uh, scroll down to the very bottom and select save to my maps and you're going to want to create a new map and tell it to save it. Uh, now for organization's sake you're going to want to see edit and rename it. And I'm just going to call this test give it a description testing stuff and I save it that's fantastic so we've got this map we've got it saved we're gonna go done and then you'll notice here it will give you an option to download the KML file so we select that and it should download it we say save and this is Firefox so it puts it in my downloads file for Firefox there may be a couple in there because I've tried this a few times so what we do is we go to Garmin I've made a folder under my collection because this is the where you have to it's the in place where you bring stuff in in Garmin is here um, it's better to pull it in here first and then we'll move it to there later so we move it to the GPS later is what I mean so what we do is we have to go under my collection I created this tutorial and I'm going to select file and import into tutorial. Now I'm lucky that it already has me down to the downloads folder. Um, if depending on where you download the KML file is going to depend on where you go to. Um, I believe this last one that I downloaded was test one because I had a previous version. Yep, test one. That is correct. So I'm going to go here and select test one, and then that pulls the track into the Garmin and in order to move that to your Garmin you have to go device and send to device send the tutorial the selection which is the same thing and that will move it so that when you unplug your Garmin it will be on there um, I hope that helps um, please feel free to comment if you have any questions uh, have a nice day